you're you're wanting to get rid of these l little air leaks that turn into little whistles and squeaks, you know, when the blower's running at full speed. Hey, so I sent you mm -hmm. that question that we got from our theairofauthority.com mm -hmm. website. I thought it might be good to talk about here. The question was, this viewer, Charles, said, I have an intermittent high-pitched whining coming from a Goodman furnace, and he gives the model number? It's an, by the model number, it's an older 90% uh, furnace, right? Okay. He's having a hard time finding a service company that can address this intermittent high-pitched whining coming from an mm -hmm. older Goodman furnace. Well, uh, and he also mentioned that the whining continued beyond the inducer assembly being on. He found our video just talking about the inducer motor and possibly lubricating it. Right. I don't know that he did that, but that's kind of the trail that he was on. But he mentioned he this, the sound continued after that blower turned off. So yeah. that makes me feel as though that's it's not related to, to the noise. However, mm. I am uh, thinking about his blower. And on those older furnaces, one of the things that, uh, this will sound really strange, but we had more than one where we had to go back and, and investigate a noise. The bottom of the furnace... You know, they're typically, we install the furnace and it's raised up on bricks typically, you know, so it's a couple inches off the floor. But the bottom of the furnace, it has a somewhat flimsy cover for it. Uh, and it's a cover that just comes off with a couple of screws, but it can be rather loose and uh, and leak air and when i'm talking about leaking air it's right at the the blower so the the uh, static pressure is pretty high on it so it doesn't take much but but leak air leaking through cracks are much like you know uh, blowing air over a piece of grass i could never do that you know but when you blow <laughs> what he was describing would be that would be the first thing i would uh, look into so what i would do is i would turn the blower on Ideally, it's making the noise. If it were making the noise, I want you to get down on your hands and knees and run your hand underneath the furnace and literally change the pressure on that, the bottom, what seems like it's the bottom, but it's really just a piece of metal with a couple of screws in it is all. And see if you can get that noise to change. Change pitch, go away, stop, you know, only does it when I take my hand off of it, you know, I can make it stop, you know, that kind of thing. And that's going to tell you whether you need to seal up all the seams, which you can do. You can take the door off the blower compartment and have some good duct tape or foil tape from the hardware store or caulking some silicone, you know, and caulk everything or tape up everything that you can. You're, you're wanting to get rid of these l little air leaks that turn into little whistles and squeaks, you know, when the blower's running at full speed. But uh, does that make sense? So kind of lay yeah, down there, see if you can do something, do anything that can affect the sound. And uh, sometimes it just means putting a fifth brick underneath it right in the middle, kind of wedge with some shims or something like that, just put some pressure on it. But I would be real suspect of the bottom panel of the furnace. The bottom of his blower compartment is where I would be investigating for whistling, squealing types of noises. That was interesting, Dad. That's an answer that somebody who's been doing this for 40 years might yes, come up that's, with. That's that's you get that after about 20 years. I'm gonna I'm gonna be curious. I'm gonna send this video to Charles and see if you were correct. He can uh, give us the results, and we'll keep we'll keep trying to figure it out for him. All right. Thanks, Dad. Bye bye.